Hey guys, it is Wednesday, and today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite movies. The reason this movie came to mind is because I actually watched it today, and it's it's a really great inspiration to me in my work, and I try my best to watch a lot of stuff. I'm a big movie fan, so a lot of different things, I, I try to find things that kind of inspire me, things that uh, I could watch again, and that's, that's something I really like to do, is I, I like to find movies that I'm interested enough in to watch multiple times. And maybe that sounds weird, but it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like listening to the same CD over and over. I like watching films five or six or seven times if I really like them, because you just get something new out of it every time, or even if it's something that you don't get new out of it, you still get things that you liked before. It's even maybe if it's just nostalgia, like uh, Star Wars for me, or any of the Batman films, uh, especially the original Batman film. Anyway, I'm not talking about any superhero movies today, even though I'm a huge comic book fan. What I'm going to be talking about today is Chef. Chef is a film by Jon Favreau. It's a fantastic film about a chef who has uh, a lot of bad things happen all at once, and then uh, some redemptive quality come through as he realizes who he wants to be and who he has to be for himself, for his business, for his love, for his kid. It's just really cool to see all that come together and to see this brainchild of Jon Favreau. And now, I don't know if you know who Jon Favreau is. He's a fantastic director. Um, you really need to check out his stuff. Anything that he's done is just, it's great. I really love it. But you can really tell how much he loves this film. The reason I say that is because he is also the main character. He wrote, directed, produced, whatever. This is his brainchild. And you can just, you can tell that in the film. Before I even knew that he wrote it, um, I knew that he had directed it and starred in it, and I, I just knew this film was going to be something special. I think one of my favorite things about the film is the fact that he plays a character that is so engrossed in what he does that it takes over his life, and he, he, he feels like he's stuck in a rut, and then he finds a way to discover who he wants to be by doing something that he absolutely loves. And that's that's something I really relate to because now I've, I've been doing photography for years but now I finally have a business of my own and I feel like I'm finally learning who I want to be business-wise and who I want to be continuously in my life from now on. And this is a really big step for me because I never had a non full-time job. I've always had jobs. I've always had multiple jobs. So to be able to just throw all that aside and work focused on my business. This is a very big step. Um, but it's it's inspiring on that level, but it's also inspiring on an art level. Um, I grew up in a restaurant. My grandfather was a cook. My dad uh, doesn't own a restaurant or anything, but he's an amazing cook. And I just, there's always been food uh, around. I probably look like there's always been food around. But my point being is that this this film is made from the eyes of a person who loves to cook and who loves food and he every single shot makes it look like he absolutely loves what he does and that's that's what I want to portray in my stuff I want to be able to to make something either motion directing or if I am just doing photography whatever else I want to make something that makes it look like whatever you're watching is through the eyes of someone who loves it and that is what I want to do with my business. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about the film. There's all types of actors in it. He just pulled every favor he could and got everybody in this film. It's really, really good. John Leguizamo plays a supporting role, and it is fantastic. I love that guy. He does an amazing job, and, and him and Favreau really bounce off of each other really well. But even above all of that, I'd still say my favorite part of the movie is the soundtrack. Seriously, this has some awesome music, to the point where I bought the soundtrack. I had the soundtrack for this, and I listen to it all the time. It's fantastic. You really do need to check it out. And uh, it's on Netflix right now, so you can see it for free. I believe it's on Amazon Prime as well. If you don't have either of those services, it's like $5. You can go buy it somewhere. It is fantastic, and it's worth it. Um, I watch movies a lot. I mean, there's plenty of movies that I've seen a hundred times, like the Batman films or whatever else. Um, but I've, I think I've seen this movie within the last six months. Eight? or nine times. Now before you think I'm crazy, it's that good. It really, really is. The The score is great. The directing is amazing. The cinematography is great. The acting is awesome and the story is fantastic. Plenty of people had bad things to say and I just don't care about what those people have to say. 
but I really, really don't because it was just that good. It was so, so good. Um, so I'd highly encourage you to check it out. If you're in the art field or honestly anything else, uh, you have something, some type of passion in your life, you really need to check this out because it's amazing to see someone work so hard for their passion. And it's very, very inspiring on that side. Anyway, that's all for me today. Thanks so much for watching this, guys. I'm going to try and post more of these inspirational things, maybe once a week. That way you can kind of see things that I'm drawing inspiration from. You could even leave me things in the comments that you're drawing inspiration from because I'd love to see it. Things that, uh, that maybe I could watch or listen to or whatever else. I'd really like to check it out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.